This is Voice of Restoration TV, your number one Christian television station. Salvation, deliverance, and healing are the works of the Word of God working together with the Spirit. God is not only present by His Word, but God also works through His Spirit to bring about change in human life. In this video, we present to you the Word of God and the Spirit working together to demonstrate that Jesus Christ is alive. 1010 10 states that the thief cometh to steal, kill, and destroy. Many people are bound by demonic spirit without being aware. This was the case of this woman. Glory be to God. Sister Alicia is free for the glory of God in Jesus' name. So Pastor Tom asked, you 
you know, said for me to come into the office and I prayed and he prayed and we did, uh, he did the deliverance. So that was that. And at that moment, Pastor Tom had said to me, I have to make a decision, you know, to stand firm and believe that God is going to do what he said he will do. So I sat there and I said, you know, I have to make up my mind. I can't keep going back one way or another. I have to stay firm in God and believe that he will open the door. So April 15th, it was a Wednesday, and this day I was planning to go to Jamaica to pick up my grandmother. The night before, on the 14th, Pastor Tom had called me and he said we need to pray. At this time, it was after 8 o'clock and I said uh, to Pastor Tom that I'm five minutes away from home and driving. If you would allow me to reach home, he said that's fine. When I got home, um, Pastor Tom said, Sister, I just want to, you know, also understand what you say right now. Because before you know, with your testimony is interesting. You can see that God has done a great thing in your life right now. But we want to back up a little bit just to understand. You say you have been in this church for the past three years, and before then, you've been having one loss, having one bad relationship, or the other. Then you came to meet the prophet of God in this house, and he prayed for you as at that time. And gave you the word of prophecy saying that your life is going to turn around completely. Yes. Then, what happened? Did you go back into the world? Did you believe the servant of God? Or what when your talk at that time? When he spoke to you? At that time, I believed him. But, you know, the human side of us, at times we tend to doubt. When you go into a next relationship and that failed, you start to wonder, yes, the prophecy is there. But how come nothing is manifested in the physical? So at times I did doubt if the word was really what it is, but I tried, and that was my inner conflict, asking God, you know, I heard your word, can you really make a way? Okay. Then you came back again to the Sabbath of God. What were the challenges that you were experiencing us at that time again that made you to say, no, I need to go back to this prophet? For him to pray for you. What would you? Well, um, in the starting of this year, there were a lot of things in my life, such as a um, spiritual husband. So while going through prayer, there were spiritual husbands that were coming forth. So of course, I had, to, and this was done in my home. So I had to come back to Pastor Tom and ask for clarification and to help me, as this might be a blockage as to why things are not moving forward as how God had promised. Okay, sister, you said something about spiritual husband. How did you know that you have a spiritual husband? Well, before that, Pastor Tom had delivered me from spiritual husband, but that was an ongoing issue with me. And earlier this year, uh, January, when I was praying with my friend Natasha, through the prayer, um, different spirits were coming out. So that's how we knew there was something else that was going on that needed to be Okay, then you now came to the prophet for him to, to deliver you again yes. the second time. And during the period of the deliverance, what happened? During the deliverance, um, so many things happened. Spiritual husband came out. Um, once again, the spirit had said that the plans that God had for me was so great. So that's where there was so much blockage because God plans for me was so great. And every single thing that I did, the enemy was trying to put a block to get me frustrated. And in doing so, I was opening the door. So many of the time, I would be so frustrated. Many of the time, I would be so disappointed, I would start to cry. And that was a door I was opening, not knowing. And the enemy kept coming back through that door. So once the deliverance occurred, Pastor Tom said, I had to make up my mind and stay strong in God and keep that door closed and the enemy would have no way into my life. Amen. 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 So sister, so during the period of the deliverance that was being carried out by the servant of God, were there any manifestation that came out of you during that period of deliverance? Yes, there were many. There were many manifestations. The spiritual husband, um, disappointment, frustration, even things such as generational curses from my mother and my grandmother. So a lot of spirits came out that um, that needed to be 
delivered from. Okay, amen. So outside the believers, how was how was your experience? After the deliverance, the one in April, I made up my mind that I wanted to keep faithful for Jesus. I know that He has a calling on my life. I know that He has great things in store for me. And the the, the door of marriage, which I was asking God to open, I had to do my part for God to manifest. Amen. 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 So, right now, you now said you went all the way to Jamaica. We want to hear from you. Can you continue, please? Yes. So, I went to um, Jamaica on April 15th. And as I said the night before, Pastor Tom had called me and said that we need to pray. And for some reason, something inside of me said that this wasn't any ordinary call from Pastor Tom. Right. This was something very urgent. So, um, as I was driving home, I said that I can have five minutes to reach home. So when I got home, I called back the prophet and he said to me, I need you to come in. So I said to Pastor, the next day, I'm supposed to be leaving for Jamaica. I don't know. And he said, I need you to come in. So I said, okay, I will push everything aside while the errands in the morning before I leave for my flight and make my priority the first thing that Wednesday morning. So when I came in that Wednesday morning, Pastor Tom said that he knows that this is the time that God is going to open the door of marriage for me. Amen. Amen. And even just to back up, even the first week of April, Pastor Tom said, while in prayer, uh, he said, within two months, God will give me my heart's desire. Amen. I said, okay, all right, I, I receive it, and I'm claiming it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So the morning of the 15th, I, I came and saw Pastor Tom, and we prayed, and I left and went to Jamaica. Uh, when I arrived in Jamaica, I stayed in Montego Bay for about three days, and then on a Saturday morning, I went and I stayed with my grandmother. Um, that Saturday morning, that's when everything changed. Amen. Amen. That morning, before I went to my grandmother, she yes. said she was going to a funeral if I wanted to come. And I believe that God had used that event the first time to do something. So I said to myself, you know, Grandma, I don't feel like going to the funeral because I'm supposed to be on vacation. So she said, okay. So... Anyhow, she went to the funeral, and something in me, I was there with my uncle, and we said, let's go and pick her up from the funeral. It should be over by now. So on our way there, um, she was walking, and we saw her halfway, and we got back home. And I have to make note that we were in a red car, and I believe God used that for a particular reason. So when we got back to her house, about 15 minutes later, I heard a knock at the door. So I went to open the door and I saw this gentleman. I saw him and he saw me. And for some reason, he came in and for some reason, I just I asked him, does he want anything to eat? Does he want anything to drink? I said, I know I'm a nice person, but for something, I just wanted him to come and sit down and share me. So 
we sat down and I gave him something to eat and we talked and he revealed to me that um, he's a pastor going to Bible college and I said, oh Lord, yeah. Lord. Yeah. 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 So at that time we spoke for about five hours. what we were hoping about to do and on and on for five hours to the point where family and friends were even in the house and we didn't even notice them too much. Yeah. Yeah. This is so much to do with the So as we concluded for the five hours, he went home. The next day, it was a Sunday, and he said, if I'm coming to church, I said, of course. Yeah. <laughs>
like someone to say God is a good God. 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 You can turn around your life and put you where you are supposed to be. Now we have the Mama Pasta in the house. of Restoration TV. We are committed to changing lives and changing nation. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash voice of restoration TV and remember to make Jesus Christ the standard of your life.